back like you never left BDA and episode three. Boku no Hero, it was a good episode and I like the way the anime is progressing. So apparently All Might, because he's dying, I guess, because of the injury that he received, but it was, I, I forget how, how long ago it was, but he can pass on his quirk. And it was interesting because if he was looking for a successor this whole time, when Deku showed himself to him as this 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 honest guy, this hero. Like off the bat, when when they were on the top of that building, why didn't he think about him being a successor then? Like, I, I wonder if with this quirk you can pass it down. If they already have a quirk, like can, can you do that? That that's that's gonna be interesting to see if if that's possible. Because then then it makes no sense because then it, Deku is one of the few people in that in that in the world without a quirk. So then if he's looking for someone to pass it down to, and Deku, who comes to him without a quirk, and then it's like, yo, why didn't you offer him this from the get? Anyways, this episode is basically about Deku inheriting all for one. Or was it one for all? I believe it's one for all, but he's inheriting one for all. One for all is basically strength passed down. One for All is basically strength passed down through generations in the form of a quirk. So it's basically a collective unit of power, essentially. That's that's what All Might says. And they went into how All Might always dodges the question. He's never told anyone about his quirk and the origin of it. So Deku talks about it being online and how he sees forums about it all the time. And he that's his thing. That's like he mutters a lot when he's thinking and he, he does it in class. He did it when they went to UA for the exam. So he does that a lot. Pretty much one for all. He, to pass it down, you have to get your body in shape. So All Might used the beach, which is infested or taken over by the, uh, trash and garbage, all that stuff and he's going to use that to kind of get Deku in shape 10 months of training and so Deku has to move all the stuff he has fridges um, uh, had, like vehicles all this different stuff tires he's going to use that to get Deku in shape because every time he moves a different piece of trash it's working in a different part of his body so it, it's kind of a cool way for him to get in shape because I said if, if it goes into your body and your body's not ready it's going to rip you apart so Deku is basically getting in shape and it was a cool training montage you see Deku going through all this he's he, he's at points where he's ready to give up even all might saw that he was overworking himself and he said that i have to work harder than everybody else to catch up because i, I want to be a great i want to be the greatest hero just like you are and that kind of brought all might to tears because he's just like yo man this this kid this kid is great it came down to the wire but deku managed to get it done and all might to transfer the power he has to eat his hair so he gives him a strand of his hair, he eats that, and then he proceeds to the entrance examination. It's interesting the interactions between Deku and All Might and their relationship because All Might is this towering figure. He's his hero and he, Deku at this point is trying to work up and get to his level. And All Might just looks at him with so much care and compassion. And Deku, just, he admires this guy and just seeing him work to get to that and he's busting his ass. He's overworking himself. <laughs> He's getting in shape for one for all, and it, it, it's really great to see. They're at the UA entrance exam now, and Deku, you know, of course he bumps into Bakugo. Bakugo's like, yo, get out of my way, I'm gonna kill you. And he says Bakugo never did anything to him after he saved him. So that's kind of weighing on Bakugo. I'm not sure how he felt about it since then. After the, the, the mini time skip or whatever, we didn't see too much of Bakugo. So I'm thinking Bakugo is kind of, I think it's some, he's kind of ashamed because this guy who was quirkless ended up saving him and he's thankful at the same time that's his only way to show it by not messing with him anymore Deku is sitting right next to Bakugo and apparently it's going to be a system of they're going to have to go up against they're in four different they're in different battle sections and they're going to have to go up against four different um monsters or robots and this is going to be examination the entrance exam and they said they're different battle groups and Bakugo and Deku they're not in the same group and Bakugo is like damn I, I don't get to beat you down then it's going to be interesting how he manages to get through this because he had no time to train on his quirk or to use it or whatever so he's gonna have to experiment in the middle of the examination so things could go really wrong or he could work out it, it could work out but I it's hard to see it working out because you didn't you didn't test it at all. So you know we'll see. And I would say probably eight out of ten this episode. It had a lot of great moments. I expect great things from this series. And it's it's been living up. I think it's twelve or thirteen episodes. So we should see some really good action pack stuff next episode. But let me know what you thought about it. I thought it was really good. I mean it was really good. Eight out of ten. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. That would be dope. Have a good day, people.